Yeah, so you can make it, you can braise it, you can grill it, you can put it in stew, Jane, and it works like any other meat. And it, I found it not musty, not chewy, not gamey, and not even lamby. It was actually quite good. Grassy and clean. Uh, William, this guy who's pushing it, what makes him believe that American consumers, that all of us are going to buy it? Well, I don't know. You Sometimes on your, your menu, you will, you will see the name Nyman Ranch or Bill Nyman. His name is synonymous with quality in beef and pork. He revolutionized, pioneered really, the idea of all-natural grass-fed beef. And now he has turned to goat because one reason, he believes in sustainability and that goats actually eat the stuff that the cattle don't. So they actually work well together. Now he, he's trying to build brand awareness with those top restaurants, but he has had interest from Costco, obviously ethnic markets they like it the key Jane is that you buy goat meat that is meant excuse me goat that is meant for meat not dairy goats that then get slaughtered and that's kind of bad this guy is eating my uh, audio cable stop it <laughs> stop it so uh, but nevertheless as you can see they're pretty friendly I mean it and uh, and uh, actually very good eating as well he eats your audio cable you eat him you tell him who's boss there, William. Uh, William ah! is in California, of course. Look at him he go. Ate the audio cable. <laughs> for the, I'm sorry, I, I can't actually hear you guys because JoJo, you know, goats eat everything, obviously. You'll never, you'll uh, never be able to eat goat meat again, cable. William. He's too charming. He likes you too much. Thank you, William. Good luck. Best of luck to you out there. And you get a nice <laughs> pair of gloves along with your goat dinner. Yeah, right.